I didn't see this happening. This happened on the weekend. All right. Florida rapper 350 Heem turned into LeBron Dust outside of his mixtape release party. Now, before I read the article and read exactly what happened to bro, rest in peace to 350 Heem. Um, I say this all the time, bro. I would not allow my kids. I would try my best to deter my children. Because I know you can't stop anybody from doing anything, champ. But I would try to defer my kids from me from, from rap. I would try to defer my kids from rap, bro. Because it seems like bro, it's it's a it's a death certificate. I'm not even gonna hold you. Like it was crazy when I was coming up, but it's like niggas can't even drop a they they mixtape champ. Boy, not even lit. Boy, not even lit. It's a death trap, bro. It is a death trap. But this is they. This is what they saying happened, bro. All right. According to the legend, three fifty Heem, uh, aka Raheem Bacon. All right, died in a LeBron dusting outside of the Jade Fox Lounge in Lakeland, Florida. Reportedly, although police did not immediately release the victim's name, a 48-year-old woman was also turned uh hit but survived. All right, so she didn't get turned into that good old LeBron dust. Social media identified 350 Heem as the deceased. Beacon was celebrating his mixtape release, a project called Taking Chances 3, at a party before the incident. Reports the legend the lounge was hosting an upscale celebrity party Friday night featuring an appearance of Bacon's older brother, former NBA basketball player Dwayne Bacon. I don't know who that is, champ. He played for the Charlotte Hornets and Orlando Magics. Raheem Bacon was promoting the event on his Facebook and social media pages as a release party for his new mixtape release, Taking Chances 3, the album released on Apple Music July 22nd. Has tracks named Dangerous Love and Gunshots, all right? Um, I want to see if anything if they say anything else in this article, but it's, it's you know... I don't believe anything happens for no reason. I'm one of those people that, you know, especially with rappers, like, I just always believe that they got something going on, bro. Like, as far as beef or internet beef or whatever, it's probably going to come out, bro, exactly what, what happened to Son. But y'all got to stop giving y'all locations out. Like, I know it's an album release party or whatever, but, bro, Florida is not a, it's not as safe as it used to be. This is what the article says. Uh, according to the legend, 350 Heen was murdered on Saturday morning in Lakeland, Florida, after being turned into LeBron dust uh, outside of the J Fox Lounge. The passing of the artist born, Raheem Baker, was confirmed by his family, who expressed their sorrows over the tragic loss. It's a grief I've never felt. Baker's aunt told the news, you never want to bury a 25-year-old nephew. So he was 25. A suspect, Jamila Johnson. Jamila Johnson? Hold on, champ. Hold on, champ. Am I, am I reading this correctly? Is my eyes deceiving me? A suspect, Jamila Johnson has been arrested in connection to the murder and has been charged with one count of possession of a firearm by a convicted felon. She has been remanded to Polk County Jail. So son got turned into LeBron dust by a shorty. Oh, I want to see Shorty, son. I want to see Shorty. I'm about to look Shorty up to see if they got any, um, whatchamacallit, of, of a whole, whole one, y'all. That's nasty work. Son got aired out by the Shorty? And she was a convicted felon? Hold on. Oh man, this is getting crazy, y'all. All right, this is this is getting crazy. 
this is more information than I even knew. All right. So in this one, it says lawyer says woman charged in Lakeland shooting that killed rapper was acting in self-defense. Lakeland police wrongfully identified a 23 year old woman as a convicted felon in order to make an arrest the same night. A Lakeland rapper was shot and killed, according to her lawyer. Jamila Johnson, 23, of Winter Haven, was arrested Saturday after a shooting outside the J. Fox Lounge that resulted in the death of Raheem 315 Bacon. Uh, Johnson was initially charged with one felony count of possession of a firearm and ammunition by a convicted felon. At Johnson's first appearance in Bartow County Tuesday, she was charged with an additional felony count of aggravated battery of another using a deadly weapon. She is being held in Polk County Jail on $100,000 bond. Holmes said the new charge came out because law enforcement knows his client is not a convicted felon. All right. Uh, Holmes said video surveillance shot by Johnson's sister was turned over to Lakeland County Police Department on Tuesday. He said it will show Johnson's actions were in defense of another, her mother, Regina Orr, whom he identified as the woman shot outside the lounge. Oh, my God. Son. So let me break it down to layman terms. What happened with 315? All right. From what we're uncovering. 315 was bodied by a shorty. All right. So she was. He was shot. and. Another woman was shot. They arrested the woman that was shot daughter and tried to charge her with the shooting. Uh, but she said that she was trying to protect her mother. So was there other shooters? We don't know, champ. A reward of fifth of five thousand dollars offered for information in 35-year-old Davenport woman's death. He did not immediately provide a cop a copy of the video to the ledger. Officer Stephanie Kerr. Uh, confirmed late Tuesday afternoon that a charge of aggravated battery with a deadly weapon was added, but did not give a reason, nor did she address the original charge of possession of a firearm by a felon. She would not comment on Tuesday. There's a lot more to this case than what meets the eye, and I can tell, champ. All right? This case is just the beginning of what we all knew what happened when the wonderful legislature came out, uh, came up with the concealed carry law. Everyone has a gun now. This is just the beginning of what's ah, oh, please. Holmes said he previously represented Johnson in 2001, where she faced a felony charge of carrying a concealed firearm. The case was settled by a plea agreement to a lesser misdemeanor. Yeah, 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 yeah. So obviously, there's two shooters. Oh, Johnson was at J Cafe uh, on Friday with her mother and sister enjoying the night out. A fight broke out in the parking lot of the lounge early Saturday morning. All right. So there was a fight in the parking lot. Uh, hey, bro, see, this is like, why would you take your mother to, to a club lounge? I'm not doing that. I'm not taking my moms out for drinks. I'm not doing that, bro. I'm sorry. We're not going to the bar. We're not going to the lounge. We're not dancing the two-step. We're not doing that, bro, because always something crazy is right around the corner, bro. You want to keep your family safe. All right. But what she said was there's video evidence that shows other people had their hands, guns as well. All right. The firearm officers recovered at the scene of the crime uh, was reported stolen. According to Lakeland Police, Holmes said that uh, that's roughly eight years ago, and he estimated half the guns on the street have been stolen. Holmes said there's a photo that shows Johnson touching the back of Bacon's shirt with a gun in her hand that serves as the basis for aggravated battery charge. He said he's never seen that, but the video would more. Yeah, right, listen, I'm going to wait till the video come out. I'm not going to hold you. I'm going to wait till the video come out because it seems like it was a lot going on, bro. It seems like son may have been, may or may not have been acting circacious around the females, champ. You may or may not have been acting circacious around the females, which may have been the reason of what happened to him, or he may have been an innocent bystander. But as more information comes out, I would definitely be putting y'all on to uh what happened to son. All right, because it seems kind of it seems kind of nasty. All right, it seems kind of crazy. Let's get to some uh comments. 
the best thing he got is to maybe look into the due process and see if the cops did something illegally to arrest him or put charges on him. Uh, we talking about uh the last guy. Well, he missed his court date, so that's that's what happened to him. However, the DA down in Fulton County don't play, and they got the new gang law in Georgia. They do. Y'all ninjas use God when it's beneficial to y'all. Salute Stino for always dropping gems. Real respect. Nah, it's 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 facts. Niggas always use God when it's beneficial to them, but be be stunting three hundred and forty days out the year. All right. Uh, yeah, to be honest, the rap industry right now is just feeding into the endless cycle of black on black crime and just crime in general. That's why it won't change until that narrative stop being pushed. I got it in reverse. I think the culture is hell bent on crime. The culture bent hell hell bent on crime. Like I said in one of my other podcasts, is is it's supply and demand, bro. All right, it's no way somebody's gonna come from outside and tell us what our culture is going to be pushing forward. Our culture pushes forward what it pushes forward, bro. And they just make money off of it. Yeah, I'm a sign Lil uh Lil whatever. <laughs> I'm going to sign him because he's doing what they want to hear, bro. It's, it's just, that's how I see it. I don't really believe in people holding us back. Uh, do I got Cash App? Yes. Dollar sign, we are tough on Cash App. It's right there, right underneath there. Boom. Dollar sign, we are tough on Cash App. I do have Cash App. Salute to you. Anthology, salute for the two month uh, uh, being a member, champ. All right. Salute to that as well. Uh, take off death should have never happened. It shouldn't. It should have never happened. But you know, when people run their mouth uh, a lot, things happen. When people don't realize uh, 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 what being a leader is, things happen. You see how comfortable he is uh, not having to be a leader no more. All right, it's probably was weighing on his soul a lot. Uh, but salute to three fifty heme. I will definitely be keeping y'all posted on the information.